I buy all my toys, figures, and collectibles at Big Bad Toy Store, and you can too. They ship worldwide, and you don't pay for it until it arrives in their store. Hey, what's up? Siri Emerald here. Way back in 2015, Hot Toys teased us when the Hulkbuster was first announced for a figure through them that they were going to give us more. And they showed it out on the tours, the extra jackhammer arm piece, and then it never happened. And years went by, and then we finally got our Hulkbuster. Now, in between the time when they first announced the Hulkbuster and the time that the Hulkbuster actually was released, they did make some changes, so I was hoping that there was going to still be included this arm. It never came to fruition. Then all of a sudden, San Diego Comic Con this year, what do they show? The Hulkbuster with the arm. First thing I thought was, please don't tell me I'm gonna have to buy a whole nother Hulkbuster just for the arm. This guy is not an inexpensive piece. So I am happy to say that they have announced the ACS-006 accessory kit for the original Hulkbuster. Problem is, I don't see how this arm comes off in the first place. It doesn't look like a normal ball and joint socket that just pops out. So hopefully they'll give us some instructions on how in the world they expect us to be able to take this arm off of here, because I don't see it happening. But nonetheless, here it is, the ACS-006 Hulkbuster Jack Hammer Arm Set. Now I say set because it's actually two arms, the Jack Hammer Arm and the grasping sucked in jackhammer arm. So the official release from Hot Toys states, as a replacement arm for the heavily armored Hulkbuster, the jackhammer arm created massive damage to Hulk and left a lasting impression on audiences during the Hulkbuster vs. Hulk sparring battle scene in Marvel Studios' Avengers Age of Ultron, and Hot Toys is thrilled to expand today with a 1-6 scale Hulkbuster accessories collectible set that is compatible with the 1-6 scale Hulkbuster collectible figure, especially for fans and collectors, to complete this ultimate collection. Meticulously crafted with tremendous attention to detail, the Movie Accurate Accessories Collectible Set features a highly articulated jackhammer left arm with LED light-up function, measuring approximately 35 centimeters in length, an interchangeable jackhammer locking forearm, and a miniature Hulkbuster pod. Pick up this one-of-a-kind collectible item to revisit the epic scene in Avengers Age of Ultron before it's all gone. Now, let's talk about this Hulkbuster pod here for a moment. There was some talk in the past that this really isn't the Mark 44, that this figure is actually called... Veronica, uh, because he says, Veronica, give me a hand, and uh, whatnot. However, in the beginning of Avengers Age of Ultron, we see Captain America contacting Jarvis up in the sky as they're attacking the base, and on the unit that's floating in outer space, the satellite, we see the words Veronica written on the satellite right there. Then, later, when... Tony actually decides to dispatch the Hulkbuster. In his heads-up display, it literally says, Hulkbuster. And Veronica is what is sent down to him. So, the Veronica is the storage device for the Hulkbuster. We notice also, as the pieces come to him, and he has to get another arm through the battle, that... In the destruction of the arm, Hulk actually removes some of the back of the Hulkbuster, and he gets a new back with that arm. And later on, when it's really destroying the Hulkbuster there towards the end, we see another piece flying out at him, and that definitely looks like a whole other body assembly of the Hulkbuster armor. So we can safely assume that there's multiple Hulkbuster armors in there because they knew that Hulk was just going to be able to destroy this and they had to continually replenish it. So the Veronica truthfully is the Hulkbuster storage pod and it had multiple pieces in there. That last piece never got to him and I'm assuming possibly three full sets because he had the original. It was damaged. A new back was put on there. It was damaged. A third back was put on there. And I don't know whether Tony just decided enough was enough and that's when he decided to um, end the fight, more or less. 
or if there weren't any more Hulkbuster pieces hanging out in Veronica to give him another body, more or less. We see in the video also that the pieces that are on the arm that stick out appear to be some type of electrical field, perhaps, maybe shocking. And we also notice that there's a sedation that's sprayed out underneath the wrist there, uh, at the palm of the hand where the wrist and the uh, meets the forearm. And also we see um, rockets or something that fly off of the back of Hulkbuster here. So these are other features that the Hulkbuster has that we really don't get too much information on other than this. It happens really quickly in the movie. So the official release continues to say, the 1-6 scale Hulkbuster accessories collectible set specially features two masterfully crafted, authentic down to the fine details, Hulkbuster jackhammer arms from Avengers Age of Ultron. Approximately 35 centimeters long, up to approximately 41 centimeters after extension, with over nine points of articulation and metallic red, gold, and silver colored painting on armor with weathering effect. The arms included are one LED light up jackhammer left arm and hand with articulations, white light battery operated, and one interchangeable locking forearm. The arms contain die cast material partially to strengthen core structure and enhance articulations. Also included is one miniature Hulkbuster pod, approximately six centimeters tall. This piece was painted by the artist Lock Ho, and the art was directed by JC Hong. And release date is on this is approximately Q1, Q2, 2020. So we have a little bit of a wait to go until then. Prototype shown, final product may be slightly different. Product details can subject to change without further notice. Batteries included for collectible figure, 2018 copyright Marvel, 2018 Hot Toys Limited, all rights reserved. So tell me what you think of this. Did you get the original Hot Toys Hulkbuster and was disappointed that you didn't get the Jackhammer Hand? Will you be buying the Jackhammer Hand? Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald, Twitter at Siri.Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you think I'm doing a pretty good job with these videos. Share this video with your friends. Let them know where they can go to get one scale news and reviews. If you're a subscriber of mine, hey, welcome back. Good seeing you guys. Love every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take this opportunity now to do so. And please click the little bell icon so that you'll know whenever I post a new video. And to see more videos that are made, you'll find them posted over here on the right. Thanks again for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.